Ever wondered about the foundation that upholds our favorite web products and services? The answer is open source software. This is the invisible yet indispensable scaffolding that supports a vast majority of our digital world today. It's estimated that between 70 and 90% of all software stacks are composed of open source code. This means that most likely the apps on your phone, your device's operating system, and even your favorite web services are all built on this critical infrastructure. But what exactly is open source software? It's a type of software that is publicly inspectable and can be used or modified by anyone. It's often maintained by a passionate community of volunteers, and it underpins everything from small passion projects to large-scale commercial applications. Despite its omnipresence and undeniable importance, open source software remains a mystery to many outside the tech industry. Scene script. Why do companies turn to open source software? The reasons are plentiful but so are the vulnerabilities. Open source software, or FOSS, is a magnet for companies across industries. It's like a treasure chest of code, open and free, ready to be inspected, used, and modified by anyone. But why is it so attractive? Well, first off, who wouldn't love something that's free? The absence of licensing fees makes open source software a cost-effective alternative to proprietary software, but it's not just about the cost. Open source software is a gold mine of efficiency. Imagine being a chef and having all your ingredients prepped and ready. All that's left is to assemble and season to taste. In the world of software development, open source is that prepped kitchen. It provides the base, the fundamental building blocks of an application's code, allowing programmers to focus on creating unique and marketable features. In a world where speed to market can make or break a product, this efficiency is invaluable. However, every rose has its thorns and open source software is no exception. The very openness that makes it so appealing also makes it vulnerable. It's like leaving your front door ajar. Sure, it's convenient for you to come and go as you please, but it also invites unwanted guests. These unwanted guests, or hackers in our case, can exploit the vulnerabilities in the open source code. And given that open source software is often maintained by volunteers, there's no guarantee of regular updates or patches to fix these vulnerabilities. This can put massive amounts of software at risk, as many software stacks are composed predominantly of open source components. Moreover, the structural problems within the open source ecosystem amplify these risks. With no central authority monitoring the integrity of the code, malicious code can easily slip in undetected. This lack of oversight, coupled with the ubiquity of open source software, can lead to far-reaching and potentially disastrous consequences. The benefits of open source software are undeniable, but the vulnerabilities they present can lead to disastrous results. The question then arises, can open source software be secured? A definitive answer may not be available yet, but there are certainly promising strategies that can enhance the security of open source software. Regular updates, for instance, are crucial. They patch vulnerabilities and harden the software against potential threats. Then there's the community. The open source ecosystem thrives on its communal spirit, with developers from all corners of the globe collaborating to maintain and improve the code. This collective vigilance can be a powerful tool in identifying and neutralizing security threats. Lastly, the role of companies cannot be understated. Businesses that benefit from open source software need to invest in its security. This could mean sponsoring open source projects, dedicating resources to maintain the software they use, or even contributing back to the code base. Securing open source software is not a simple task, but with concerted efforts from the community and companies alike, it is a challenge we can overcome. 